Hello, my name is Kent Philpott, and I've got a little um, essay to read to you about some things that have happened today. Uh, and it's an essay titled, Got an App. Michael Sam kisses his wife, boyfriend. Someone expresses disapproval, actually disgust, and the gay Gestapo attacks. A guy named Ward expressed less than positive feelings about seeing this scene on TV and started getting death threats. His kids were included in the murderous uh, threats, too. Well, I mean, didn't Ward deserve what he got? After all, the guy dared to have thoughts about seeing one man kissing another on television. Warden didn't do anything, didn't deny anyone their equal rights, didn't do or say anything he could even be sued for. The gay Gestapo thought police, however, were offended. The media, out of the usual fear of being attacked by the gay Gestapo, never uttered a word in defense of war, not even regarding the death threats against him or his family. Yes, here was a vile homophobe who deserved to be punished. Homophobic. Is that fear of homosexuals? Is it fear of being homosexual? Fear is an emotion, mostly involuntary. Thinking or feeling that homosexual behavior is immoral is probably common for the majority of Ameri Americans, and this is not overt and intended discrimination against homosexuals, which is a violation of a person's rights and which is wrong. But not, does not wanting to be homosexual or experiencing disgust when seeing gay behavior on mainstream media constitute homophobia? Let's hope not, but no telling to what extent the enforcers will go. The pro-gay lobby has successfully shut down nearly all dissent. If a retailer gets tagged with something that offends them, a boycott starts, and vendors who sell products in the store will be attacked as well. Do you suppose an app will be developed that will detect anti-gay thoughts going through the brain? And if so, what will be the punishment? I wonder if we are not seeing a kind of revenge from the gay population for the mistreatment they have experienced over the years. Despite their inevitable guilt and shame, they want to be seen as normal and okay like everyone else. But they've been seen as less than okay by others, even uh, considered to be sinners by Christians like me, and that uh, may have become intolerable for some. So like gets like, I suppose. How long will knee-jerk reactions from gays on the emotional edge advance their cause? Will a pendulum swing back into a kind of balance? Yes, that's possible, I think. But things will never be the same as, say, in the 1950s. We are looking at a new normal in which the norm is tinged with a kind of perverseness. Sorry, but that's what I am thinking and feeling. I will never accept this new business as usual that our society has been cowed into accepting. Hope you can get over it. Since I and hosts like me are not likely to change, despite the threats, boycotts, mudslinging, civil suits, and bad publicity. Apple, Samsung, Microsoft, Google, which will be the first to come up with the app? So long.